Hello guys, today I'm going to buy my new lithium battery for my Vanagon. So we're going to take a quick trip to my uh, local store which sells this excellent Scanbot lithium battery. So um, it's just a 10 minute drive from where I live. So we just hop into the... Oi. Sorry about that. We hop into the Vanagon and uh, off we go. Du har landet på Juro, du var lur nå Det er ikke mulig å bli sur nå Hello guys! Ever wondering what's inside a lithium battery? This is a battery from a Scanbot in Norway and I am very curious to see what's inside. This battery has also built-in uh, heat around the cells so you can use it in the winter time and of course Bluetooth measurement for the app so you can see what's happening inside. The battery is uh, rather easy to open it has um, eight screws, which I already have uh, loosened. So, then, voila! Look at that. I bring it closer. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. You have a big BMS controller. You have the heating uh, control for the heater elements that go around the cells and then uh, you have some wiring that goes to the to the, the pole I don't know the English word, pole, hopefully and you can see here that the plus is connected directly to the cells and to the plus pole and the minus goes from the cells to the BMS that control the, the amperage to the minus pole so this is minus controlled, if I can call it something like that. Here we have the, the sensors for the battery, one for each uh, of the cells. And then you have this black one at the end, which I am guessing right now that it must be the temperature sensor, which is placed somewhere underneath here. What I was planning to do with this battery is to use it in my uh, Vanagon T3 because the size of it fits nicely inside the box under the seat but it's way too tall this is the maximum height for the Vanagon if you remove the battery lid so I take my chances I have talked with the supplier he tell me if I open it I will uh, void the warranty so, well, 9,000 krona battery, it's about uh, uh, nine, $900 approximately. So, um, yeah, let's gamble with it. Now I will uh, take out the BMS and place it on the side. Temperature, it's a black wire, and you have all this uh, to the 
5 cells and the cells it's hard to say but they look like they are square I really don't know really because of this round one but ok then the worst job is done now I have installed the battery in my car and uh, then it looks like this let me try to explain. This is my charger, of course, which has um, 220 volt from the inlet on the side of the car. It has three outputs. I only use two. One for the lithium battery and one for the starter battery. This is the relay, which is controlled by the alternator. This will click in as soon as the engine has started. But to the battery. I have installed the, the Plexi it's called flexi plate on the top with these tiny little screws of course which was the original screws and I have extended all the wires with the appropriate size this is nice you can buy it from uh, Amazon or Aliexpress I will provide link for them both down below and here it is look at this fantastic it has a, yeah, I don't know what it's called in English, but you get an enormous amount of power on the jaws. And uh, put them into the BMS. Of course, same on the each side. Here you can barely see it, but here it is the, the heater uh, element connection. And then you have the BSM uh, controller for all the cells. And it goes to these tiny wire systems. I also has a um, uh, ampere voltage controller so I can see what's going on, which goes in and out. You can take a look at that as well. The battery is uh, the, the BMS is put inside the lid, and I have secured the lid by two wooden screws which are screwed into the wooden plate, and then I use some. Uh, yeah, what is this called? Tie wrap strips to secure the plastic uh, cover like this one on the back side of this BMS. This one goes uh, to the earth, but it goes through a switch which I have over here. So I can switch it on off. And the other, other wire goes to the bottom and to the big screw that holds the original battery in place. Here I need to make some. Uh, straps or something to secure it and as you can see it is a little too tall but it clears the seat by uh, one finger approximately one centimeter so uh, everything is good but I need to secure it because now it is yeah it is pretty pretty secure but according to the car uh, improvement the battery needs to be secure, so I need to put a strap over here. We can take a look at little. We can take a little look at this uh, this system. This is the what I call a new style system. It's a hull element inside here, so you don't need a a shunt resistor like on my old system. Inside here is just a fuse. It's a 60 amp blade fuse. And uh, this is the receiver for the, for the hull element, and this is also Bluetooth up to this unit. I'll show you that one as well. Put in the key, and then it should kick in, and here we have it. This is how it looks without any charging. Let's start the car, shall we? So and as soon as I hit the throttle so this light goes out, this one will cut come in cut in. And here we go. Sixteen amps. 
is now going into the battery to this motor. I'm really happy with this uh, system, so this one I can really recommend. It goes on uh, Bluetooth, like I told you, but it works from USB. And the USB is connected to my new USB outlet over there. I also has one over here. And let's see if I can reach it as soon as this goes the car. The charging will cut off. And it goes back to zero amps. Really love this little guy. Nice kiss. Piece of kit. The battery has also a built-in Bluetooth which you can control or you can at least see what's happening inside by an app on your telephone. Smartphone. You just um, hit the little icon which is, says uh, scan bat and then it will uh, start up the app. And, and I called mine uh, Vanagon T3. You just press it. Right. There we go. Yeah. And then you can see what's happening inside the battery. Now we can see the voltage, it's 13.7 and the capacity is 103 amps and you can slide it to the left or to the right. And then you can see the amperage. And if I start the car, then it will jump up. And when I put the throttle, let's see if you can see that. Here we go! Look at that! Huh? Amazing, eh? 10.6 and to show you 9.7 and this one is 9.8. You can see both here. Yeah. Are close to the same. Excellent, eh? The last screen. Here we also can see uh, all the cell data. Okay guys, that was the short introduction of my lithium battery under my seat. I'm really happy with it. I have my um, fridge and it uh, can go, I guess, for at least three days without any extra charging. I also have a solar setup that I'm working on. It's not quite ready yet, but um, almost. I will do a video of that later so you can see how I have done that as well, if you like. So that's it for me this time, hope you liked the film, film, like the clip, see you in the next one, goodbye.